Hello friends and welcome back. We're so glad you're joining us for session 18 of our MTCNA course. Since Microtech has recently launched Router OS version 7, we thought it is high time to provide you with some easy instructions on how to upgrade the operating system on your devices. In this video, we'll review the different software packages for Router OS, take a look at the packages workspace, learn how to upgrade our device's router OS, and finally, talk about the ways you can go about downgrading your device if the need arises. Okay, so just as we have discussed many times before on our Microtech hardware videos, if you refer to the product page of any device that runs with router OS, you have a specifications table. In this table, next to a great deal of useful information, you can find the particular architecture of that device. Similarly, when you connect to a router, you can see the architecture of your device written at the top, along with the current version of the router OS running on that device. The most reliable resource for receiving the latest functional versions of router OS is the software tab on Microtech's website. Currently, versions 6 and 7 of router OS are available. By opening each of these tabs, you can find the available packages for each architecture type, which include ARM, ARM64, MIPS-BE, MMIPS, SMIPS, Tile, PPC, and x86. If you scroll down a bit, you also have the general category, where you can download net install for more complicated installation activities, the dude client used for network monitoring, and the change logs of each of the available router OS versions. As you can see, each architecture contains a main package and extra packages. The main package carries the most essential files for the router OS version, and the extra packages are optional items that you can use based on your network needs and activities. When you download these files, the main package will be shown as an NPK file, while the extra packages will be shown as a number of zipped files. If you refer to the support tab on Microtech's website and visit the main documentation reference under the Getting Started menu and the Upgrading and Installation submenu, you have the packages. On this webpage, you have a table that lists all router OS packages. If you look closely, within the extra packages of router OS version 7, you do not have packages such as Advanced Tools, DHCP, or Hotspot. However, if you download the packages that are available for router OS version 6, you can see that they can be found in this version's list of extra packages. The reason is that for router OS version 7, Microtech has decided to integrate many of these extra packages into the main package, and from this version onward, many packages that were previously optional are now a part of the main and essential router OS package. Back to the list of architectures and available packages, you can see that for router OS version 6, we first have a long-term channel. The long-term channel includes the most stable and most widely used version of router OS, which means that all of its features are functioning properly without any bugs and that it has been around for quite some time. Stable is the title of the next available channel. This version is functional and efficient, however, it may not be as reliable as the long-term channel, because it is a work in progress and still has not been used by the entire Microtech user base. Therefore, although it may contain more or newer features than the long-term channel, it may also have some unforeseen bugs or problems yet to be discovered. And the final column belongs to the testing channel. This channel offers the most experimental and the least stable version at hand, and it is just being tested by Microtech and a limited number of professional users. If we look at these channels from the other side, we could say that new features are found and experimented with in the testing channel. Once they become relatively stable or have their bugs removed, these features move onto the stable channel, and in case they are continuously tested by a larger number of users and do not show any other malfunctions, after some time, they will be integrated into the long-term channel to be used by the entire public user domain. So, when choosing a router OS version for your network, you should ask yourself three main questions. One, what services are you running on your network? Two, 
what uptime range do you need to maintain on your network? And three, what specific types of features are needed for your activities? Based on your answers, you can refer to the change log of each channel to read the details of the latest developments happening in each of them. Using this change log data, you can make up your mind regarding the router OS version that best fits your needs. As for router OS version 7, since it's been around for a relatively short time, Microtik only offers stable and testing versions, and they are yet to provide the long-term package for router OS 7 on their website. Now, let's go and see these packages in router OS. In Winbox, from the System menu and the Packages sub-menu, you can find the list of packages currently installed on your hardware. At the top, you have a number of command buttons. Check for Updates allows you to automatically upgrade the OS version of your hardware. Enable and disable turn packages on or off, and Uninstall can be used to remove a package from this device. Unschedule is used to remove any scheduled events regarding your packages, and Downgrade is used to roll your operating system back to a previous version of your choice. And finally, Check Installation is a small feature that is used to make sure any package installation has been completed correctly. Now, let's disable the Hotspot package for instance. As you can see, this package has now been marked scheduled for disable, and will be disabled once you restart the device. To cancel this action, simply click on Unschedule. Some of these packages are essential for the operation of your device, and they cannot be uninstalled. Hotspot is one such package, and you'll get an error message if you attempt to remove it. Check for updates is a highly useful command here. If your device is connected to the internet, by using the check for updates command, you can effortlessly find the latest version of any of the available packages for your device. Right now, we can see the current and the latest versions of each of the available channels. In order to upgrade router OS from one version to another, such as router OS 6 to 7, Microtech advises that you should first upgrade to the latest stable version and then upgrade your router OS to the newest upgraded version available. So let's go. To upgrade router OS, we have two ways. One, we can manually download the package of our choice and then drag and drop that package on our Winbox window. The file menu will automatically open up and the package will start uploading. Once this upload is finished, you can easily reboot your device for the changes to take effect. Also, instead of this drag and drop, you can copy your package and then click the paste button in the files menu to upload your package. The second way to upgrade router OS is to use the check for updates feature and click on download or download and install buttons. If you download the package, you'll need to reboot manually. If you click on download and install, the device will automatically restart and the changes will take effect. Once the device restarts and you're logged back in, you'll be asked to change your old password. As you can see, the router OS version of our stable channel is now up to date. It is highly important to remember that once you have upgraded router OS, you must upgrade your device's firmware as well. To do so, you can refer to the system menu and the router board sub-menu. Here, you can see that the current and upgrade firmware versions are not the same. Simply click on the Upgrade button to upgrade your firmware. Once you get this red prompt, reboot your device. It should be noted that previous older versions of router OS do not show this red firmware upgrade prompt. So if you're working with an older version and do not see this prompt, check New Terminal. Here, you'll see a similar message if the firmware has been upgraded. If you see this message, simply restart the device and wait for it to reboot. Once the firmware versions match, your router OS upgrade is complete. Now that we have upgraded to the latest stable version, we can upgrade our hardware to router OS version 7. To do so, we'll again open the packages window and click on check for updates. We can easily select the upgrade channel and click on download and install. Once router OS version 7.2.1 has been installed and our device has restarted, we'll again refer to the router board sub-menu to upgrade the firmware as well 
to match the 7.2.1 version. Make sure you reboot your device once again. After logging back in, you'll see that your firmware is also up to date. As a final step, once you have completed each upgrade, you can use the check installation feature. This feature is a diagnostic tool that ensures all upgrades have been completed successfully and that your device will function properly. And as a final note concerning downgrading your device, if you ever upgrade to a newer version, you may feel the need to roll your OS version back for a number of reasons, including an unstable new version, software bugs, insufficient features, inconsistencies, and so on. To downgrade, you cannot use the Check for Updates feature because, as the name suggests, it'll only help you upgrade your router OS. Therefore, you'll have to refer to Microtech's website, download your older version of choice, and use the drag and drop or copy and paste methods to downgrade the device. If you have any questions regarding upgrading and downgrading router OS, let us know in the comments section. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Stay safe and take care.